Hi everyone and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial for an item sorter that works in Bedrock Edition. Yes, it does not break, it does not let things through that you don't want to go through. So if that is something that you are interested in, then don't you go anywhere. Now you may have noticed that I have this in survival mode. I'm going to be building this in survival so that I'm not flying around everywhere and confusing you when you want to build this in your survival world because let's face it, uh, you're unlikely to want to build this in a creative mode unless you're testing it out first to make sure it works, which I highly recommend by the way. So what we have here is 10 bays of items that we're going to sort. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the 11th bay is just for junk. So that's going to collect uh, any items that we didn't want to sort in these other bays. So what I have over here is the items. Some of these are the items that I want to sort and some of these are not. So let's just chuck them all in this chest up here, which is our input chest. And these should all go into the correct chests. So I can't remember which was first. Was it the was it the Steve heads? So we should see them filtering in there. And that is the only thing that is getting filtered into there. Sea lanterns are going through and heads are going through. And in this one, we should just have stuff that isn't depicted there, which is great. One thing I will mention before we get started is that this is not my design. I have not come up with the actual sorting uh, system. I got this from a friend that I play on a realm with and he got it from a tutorial and that person probably got it from another tutorial and so on and so forth. Uh, so I cannot claim this as my own, but hopefully I've put this video together in a way that you find useful and easy to follow. So let's stop yakking and let's get on with it, shall we? And please note that these aren't the exact amounts because you can make this um, as big or as small as you like. So I have literally just picked up a stack of everything. But what I can tell you is how many of each you're going to need per bay. So chests, you're going to need at least a double chest per bay. Hoppers, you're going to need at least three per bay with about two or three extra for the delivery system. Redstone torch, you will need as many torches as there are sorting bays. Comparators, again, as many as there are sorting bays. Redstone dust, just grab loads of redstone dust. You're going to need at least three per bay, again. Pistons, don't need to be sticky pistons. One per bay. Obsidian, one per bay. Glass, you will need two per bay. You'll need some structural blocks. I have gone with yellow concrete because it shows up and it's obvious and then some temporary blocks which are going to help you with the building. You're also going to need some item blocker blocks which I will show you how to uh, make in a moment. I've chose granite because I don't really use granite for, for many things so it's something I'll probably have lots lying around and that I don't mind using on something like this. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to rename this granite you can only do up to a full stack. So what we're going to call this, you can call it anything like um, item blocker, or you can just put a lot of random characters in there, you know, something that isn't going to get sorted. Um, so let's call this like and subscribe. So if you haven't already, smash that like button if you're finding this useful, hit the subscribe button and press the bell button for all notifications of future videos so you don't miss any of my content. And we are also going to call this one like and subscribe. Okay, so now we have item blockers. It's interesting to note that renaming a whole stack of something will only cost you uh, one XP level. So it is worth getting a full stack in there. And then you probably have spare if you want to expand or create another item sorter. Okay, so with that done, let's get started on the actual build. Now you can see here, I've got some blue wool and some orange wool. The orange wool uh, represents the actual building on the outside and the blue wool represents the area of the actual redstone. So the actual redstone part is only going to be seven blocks deep. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I believe I've made this 11 blocks long because that is how many uh, bays that we are going to be making. So at the 
opposite ends. So we're starting with the chest that is for the overflow. We're going to place double chests and that is going to go right up to the edge of our area for the redstone. And I'm going to place 11 double chests. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, and then we should have a gap of two here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hoppers and I am going to crouch and then place them in the back of the chest. The reason you crouch is so that one, you're not opening the chest and two, it makes sure that the little uh, tail or the, the directional tail of the hopper is facing into that chest because we want that to be able to filter items into these chests. And I'm going to put a hopper on the back of every single one of these chests. Next, I'm going to get my temporary block, which in this case is dirt. And I'm going to crouch and place this on top of the chests at the back on the side that is closest to the hoppers. And you'll see why in a moment. That is because we're going to put another line of hoppers above this line and we want those to face that way into that block even though we're going to be removing that afterwards so we want again one facing into every single piece of dirt so we now have two full lines of hoppers for each chest once again i'm going to get my temporary block and i'm going to start at the junk end or the overflow end and in line with the hoppers I'm going to make a tower of three so that I can now come down here and again what we want is these tails to be facing a certain direction we want the tails to be facing into that block so all flowing into the direction of the overflow chest or the trash can or the bin or whatever you want to call it, the junk chest. And we're going to do this all the way along. And then we're going to add two more to the end. Again, you want to be crouching to make sure that you're not, otherwise you're just going to open up the hopper. So you need to crouch, then place. That takes us to the edge of our area. And what I'm also going to do is put one there. Okay. So we're going to forget this bit for now, that can come in later. Uh, you can remove the temporary blocks if you like, but I'm just going to leave them there for now. So now we're going to start on the actual redstone. Now we can't put anything in the hoppers just yet. We want to make sure that this bottom line of hoppers is going to be locked until we want it to open and let things through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove two layers of wool starting, not there, at the edge of the blue area, which is ground level. Uh, I'm going to go down two blocks. The reason I'm going down two blocks is because I want to be able to walk through here. And you can make a little stair bit here to make it easier to get in and out. Okay, once you have your two block deep trench, we're going to place yellow concrete on the back of every single um, middle and bottom hopper except for the last bay where the overflow is going to be uh, filtered to. Now the reason I'm putting this here first is because it actually helps me to remember which level I need to put the next part on because if any of you watch my let's play ended up getting confused so if I do it this way I can make sure that I'm doing it right. So on the back edge of this trench, on the opposite side to the hoppers, you're going to remove another block's worth of ground level, probably dirt at this point. Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, it is wool. And we're going to replace that with pistons. These need to be facing up. And then on top of the pistons, we are going to be placing obsidian. This will make sure that when the redstone signal passes through the pistons that they do not extend as the uh, pistons cannot move obsidian. Um, and as you can see, once again, we have left the back of the overflow hoppers empty. Now, this is where our trench comes in handy. So 
you want to make sure that you can fit down here and on every single one of these pistons you're going to place a redstone torch. So they power that block which will then block these bottom hoppers and if I place something in there now what can I put in there let's put one of these blockers in as you can see that will not pass through let's take it out again if I remove that redstone torch it's no longer uh, locked so now I can put something through and the items are coming through and just so it's exactly the same I'm just putting one in at a time there we go that is the purpose of that so on top of the obsidian and facing away from the hopper we're going to put our comparators Get up on there and I'll show you why in a minute put that redstone torch back as well before I explain this so redstone comparators can suck a signal through a block from something like a hopper so when we put an item in there so we're going to put our item blockers one in every slot apart from the first one as you can see that is picking up a signal while this is all still open I'm going to go and put my item blockers in there now and light up all those comparators so again just one in each of these slots and leave the first one empty and do that for all of these hoppers except for the last one which is the bin or the trash can or the overflow or the junk chest whatever you want to call it and to clarify as you can see it is the middle line of hoppers that I am placing these in and that is the last one and then we leave that one empty okay next bit okay so they are all on now and what we're going to do is we are going to run the signal from these comparators down and into the back of the pistons that when the conditions are right will turn off that torch and unlock these bottom hoppers so to do that i'm going to remove these three blocks here so that's one in from the redstone area edge and we're going to remove all the blocks that are two back from each piston once you've removed those blocks you can then place one line of redstone behind each of these pistons and then behind the redstone we're going to place one piece of glass make sure you place the redstone before you place the glass um, otherwise you'll have to break the glass again to be able to get in and that's really annoying then on top of each glass block we are going to place another piece of redstone dust and as you can see when I place another piece of glass on the back of that obsidian the link does not break so the redstone can actually travel up and through uh, glass blocks like that so we're going to put glass on the back of each piece of obsidian and to complete the circuit we're going to put another piece of redstone dust on every single piece of these glass bits these glass blocks so as you can see uh, these are powered but the signal isn't reaching down here for the signal to get strong enough to reach and unlock the torch we have to have another 41 items and this is how the sorting system is going to work so i believe we have everything there that's going to let this work we can now start filling in our middle hoppers uh, with the items that we want to sort so let's put away my building materials then we're going to get our items that we want to sort and what we're going to do is we're going to put the full stack in that first slot and as you can see they will go through and they should stop at 41. There we go. So anything above 41 items will send a signal strong enough to unlock that bottom hopper and let items through. But 41 of them will always stay there. And that is how the item sorter works. It's only going to let through 
the items that are in that first slot. And as long as you don't send your item blockers through the sorting system, this will work, this will not break. And like I say, I've been using this in my Let's Play world. It's not failed yet at all. It's working really, really well. And it's the first time I've had an item sorter not break in Bedrock. Let's wait for that to stop and then we'll check all the things and make sure that nothing else has gone through into those other chests, just the items that we expected. That looks like it's stopped now. And there we go, we only have the items that we wanted. Decorate this however you like. So I've gone with, let's, let's get my glass again. So if you crouch and put the glass there, you want to be using a non-solid block or a block that is classed as transparent so that you can open these chests. If you put solid blocks there, the chests won't open. So that's why I've gone with glass. You could think, use things like stairs, slabs, or you could just leave it open and put the item frames on the hoppers if you wanted to. If you're not, if you, you know, just you can have this however you like. And then just put your item frames on there with the items um, that correspond to that base. So you would have item frames with sea pickles and etc. etc. Okie dokie, so this middle line of hoppers has now got all the items in that we want to sort and you can see they're all um, at 41 on that first slot and then we have the item blockers in the other slots. So now we can test uh, the item sorter and what I've got here is the stuff that we want to sort plus some other stuff, some random stuff that uh, we haven't set up to sort and let's see if this works and doesn't break. So what's it working on now? It's on the chest, so they should be coming in here. There they are, they're filtering in there. And what's next? Let's, let's move some of this stuff. I want it to be something that we're actually sorting. So sea lanterns, there we go. They're filtering in there where they should be. Move that again. <laughs> and lapis. Should be coming there it is there it's it's going now that's brilliant so i think it's safe to say that this is working and we're not getting any um item blockers falling through it's all working it's all going through nicely and everything is going where it's supposed to be so there is one last look at the redstone that makes this work again the actual sorting part goes in the middle hoppers and it is the bottom ones that get locked um, so if you want to pause the video here and um, let's move this wall there you go you should be able to get a better idea there of how the hoppers and the redstone are set up in relation to each other so that is how you make an item sorter for bedrock edition now i'm just going to grab some stuff out of there and i'm just going to show you this other design for the delivery system which I think is kind of cool and fun. It's not necessary at all, um, but what we've got is um, an item elevator um, that uh, droppers will dispense your items into before it gets sorted in the sorting system. And as you can see, that's chucking out through there, and then they should be turning up in there. There you go. <laughs> but that will have to be uh, another video, I'm afraid, as uh, that's all I've got time for for this tutorial. If you have found it useful, please do smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and press the bell button for all notifications of future videos. Check down in the description for all my social media links. Come follow me on Twitter. Come follow me on Facebook. Come join the Discord. Come say hi. I'd really love to hear from you and so would all the other members that are already there. And until the next video, guys, I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.